सहनाभवतु सहनो भुनक्तु सह वीर्यं करवावगे तेजस्विनावती तमस्तमा विद्विशावगे ओम शांते 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 वंडरफुल ऑल ऑफ एस how to balance between the hope and the fear everybody has got the fear and everybody has got the hope the question is which is going to be outweigh the other one now you have to balance so if somebody says so i don't have any fear i don't know to what extent i can trust now the question is okay every one without any exception we have the fear and also the the hope now which is more important or which is more dominating okay now let us talk about this the hope and the fear okay now we have to balance one side you no know, the hope the other side is the fear now everybody has got the fear and hope without any exception now we have to understand the dynamics of the fear and also the hope now once you are able to understand that means you are able to overpower see i used to act in drama now believe it or not every time i get into the stage in the first scene now i have a lot of fear i thought i am the only person but when i talk to other people also they say that even the professional people also get the same fear similarly suppose if you are a public speaker or you want to make a kind of a public speaking see that means whenever you go for the few seconds if not minutes that means you have a little bit of fear and anxiety so you cannot avoid but you have to understand so the whole idea is how you can balance between the hope and the fear suppose you got a too much of hope and less of fear that means you will be able to succeed now even with the lot of hope but still you can fail but the whole idea is you have to understand the dynamics of the hope and the fear okay now this is beautiful you know the definition of a fear that means it is a arjuna syndrome arjuna wanted to fight with the war he was itching but the time came then he became completely a kind of a helplessness karpan nadoshu he has become absolutely helpless why because of the anxiety and the fear okay now there are two things they say uttishtada so beautiful word in sanskrit or uttare that means lift yourself uttishtada arise yourself this what krishna used to tell arjuna now when there is a problem when there is a situation which is very challenging now you have got two choices one is forget everything and run that's what exactly arjuna wanted to do it but krishna said face everything and rise that's it arise arjuna so you have to understand that you have got two choices either you can run or arise the choice is yours okay now try to understand everybody without any exception we have the hope and also the fear so which is more dominating that makes all the difference see all of us 
before taking any kind of an assignment, we always feel whether I can do it or not. <clears throat> the moment you say, yes, I can do it. Let me try. Now, if your hope is more and fear is less, that means you have got a tremendous amount of the positive energy. Suppose it is the other way, that means you will get a lot of negative energy. So it is all what depends upon what you are telling yourself, auto-suggestion. The message of this particular one is, the hope is the only thing, the hope is the only thing stronger than the fear. There is no other thing. So we always try to find out, okay, how can really become fearlessness? Okay, now, it's a beautiful quotation. Nothing in life is to be feared. I like this very much. Nothing in life, including the death. See in our own scriptures, they say, what is the definition of spirituality? Abhayam vai Brahma. See, Bhayam means you no know, fear. Abhayam means fearlessness. That means a man who does not have a fear or fearlessness is a Brahman. That means he is a completely free man. He has got the freedom from all the problems. That means nothing in life is to be feared. It is to be understood. Think. Eh? So once you are able to understand, that means not that you will not have a fear, but you will have a lot of you know, hope. So the balance of the hope and fear will be completely balanced. So that means this is the time to understand more so that we have fear less. Not fearlessness, fear less. Okay. Now we have to accept finite disappointment. What is the difference between the finite and the infinite? Now, whatever that you are trying to do in life, okay, it may happen, it may not happen, it may happen in a different way. But there are three choices. Okay, I try to do something. So, suppose as a marketing guy, I go to the customer, I go with a lot of hope. Okay, the way in which the customer is treating, that means I am not able to really handle. So I get a kind of a fear. Then what I do? I keep on doing the same thing. Okay, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Now, the whole idea is who is going to be stronger? Either the customer or the marketing guy. Now you have to understand, yes, with all this, my preparation and all my hope, still I can fail. See, all of us, see, in my own life, See what is happening, sometimes I used to feel that okay fine, so I will get the order, I will get this, so I got a tremendous amount of you know, the hope, but I come back with a tremendous of failure, okay, now sometimes, so I don't have too much of hope, I make sure that I do whatever I want to do, it. that means I get a lot of success, so the whole idea is to find out, see I am not the do here, but I have got the capacity to do what has to be done at the particular moment. So this is why you have to understand the finite and the infinite. When I say finite, this is all you know, it is a come and go, which is the finite. Okay, but as far as the infinite is concerned, that means always it is something the difference between the happiness and also the bliss. So what do you mean by the happiness? See happiness will come and go. See I get a lot of you know the profit in a particular year. I am very happy. But next year there will be a loss. So it will come and go. Right? But whereas a man who does not depend upon the thing and I don't have any kind of a cause to be happy. See that means I call it as a bliss. We must accept the finite disappointment. 
What do you mean by finite? That which comes and goes. I get an order as a marketing guy, I am very happy. Okay. And the same marketing guy, you lose the order, becomes unhappy. Yes, it is natural. But what do you do with that? Now you have to understand. Yes, this is what I call you. Know, it will come, it will go. It is not in my hands. But that which is in my hand is to keep on trying without losing the enthusiasm. So a person, okay, keep on progressing without from one failure to the other failure without losing the enthusiasm. So that is what I call you know, the finite and the infinite. So let me tell you my own experience. When I went to Japan to sign the collaboration for Tesla Doraka, then there is a tremendous amount of pressure. And you have got so many steps to go through. Then finally, I met the president. Then he asked me, see how many marketing people you have in your organization. Then I told him, you know, zero. There is no marketing guy. Then how you are able to manage? See, I am a marketing guy as a managing director. Okay. So my business is totally different. So I just told him, see, look, I am the only person in the present industry for marketing. Then he asked me, how dare you come here for a collaboration because this product is completely market oriented product. It is not possible for you to do it. We don't have any kind of experience at all. Then I never thought about it honestly. I know that, but there is a lot of marketing. Then I thought already I lost the battle with him. Okay, his body language was totally different. Then I thought already lost the battle. So let me have a kind of a courage. Taroka san. Okay, so I don't have any marketing guy in my present organization. But I am a good learner. My learning curve is amazing. Right? So I can learn. So I need only a kind of a the product knowledge. So I can market it myself. Then he said, no, I don't think it is possible. Okay. Then he told, you know, the other uh, director, why don't you take him for a lunch? So we'll meet him after the lunch. Then let me tell you, see that time, I had a lot of, you know, the, not a fear. How can I really convince this guy? But what he is telling is absolutely right. Okay. Now I want to really convince him. So my mind was completely calculating so many factors. How can I really do it also? Then finally I asked him. Then he said, look, um, Chandran, I don't think it is possible. You need a tremendous amount of you know, marketing strength and you know, I can give the technology, but you must have the marketing strength you know, in India. Then I just told him, say, Mr. Taraka San, right? So I am a very good learner. So I am a first generation entrepreneur. Okay, I have been marketing, you know, so many years. Okay, I can learn quickly and also develop. Then he said, see Mr. Chandran, now I have to think. Okay, then I just told him, Taraka, so I got a lot of courage at that time. More than the four, I had a lot of courage. See, Taraka, son, suppose if you are not able to sign the collaboration with me, then I'll say they go to some other country because this is the time for me to start manufacturing in India. Then he started telling, okay, let us meet after a few minutes. So after some time, then he came back. Then immediately he said, okay, let me try. Although he is not completely convinced, but he said, let me try. Okay, then we signed the collaboration. So why I am giving this particular example is, already I thought I lost the battle. But let me try something. Okay, if it doesn't count, it's fine. So for me, the hope is more important than the fear. So maximum what will happen? So I may not sign. That's it. Now this is this is what you have to understand. Yes. See, there will be a failure, there will be a success. 
Okay, so your the hope of success must be more than the fear of failure. So if you are able to do that, I think you can do it. And I want to give only one message. See, life is full of you know the ifs and buts. So you have to understand. So you will be there. You will be able to succeed. You will lose a failure. If you are able to have the same enthusiasm even when you fail. That means you are a successful man. Okay. Take care. All the best. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadra Nipashyantu Makaschit Dukkha Bhagbhave Om Shanti 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 Shanti